This guy's one of my favorites, performs all over LA. Make some noise for Scotty Cam! God, he's so hot. He's so hot. I I look like Colin's before picture. You know what I mean? Like just me in a mirror and then three rounds of P90X. Him. He's so hot. Everyone up here is so hot. I'm so uncomfortable. I don't know. I don't. I'm not hot enough to do comedy up here. I should be doing comedy on the CNN Tower. That's where. Because I don't. I don't belong. I don't know. How are you guys? You guys feeling all right? You're doing well. Yes. Be honest with me. Do we like the shoes? Come on. Be cool. Be cool. Get that on the camera. That's a Nike Air Monarch. Okay. They are doctor prescribed, but I would wear them anyways. I just want everyone to know that. My friends give me a hard time when I put these shoes on. They say they look like dad shoes, that they're the dad shoe. Yeah. I kind of feel like a dad when I put them on, you know? I slip these shoes on and I'm like, ooh, I would like to mow a lawn right now. I put these on, I'm like, oh, I want to skim a pool. I slide these shoes on, and I'm like, oh, should I download Intuit TurboTax? I think I should. I think I should do it. I want to file early this year. I want to file early. I want to do it. I don't know. I'm trying to improve. I, I feel older. I feel gross, guys. So last year, I did a big thing. I lost 75 pounds. Yep. No, do not clap. Do not clap. I'm gaining it back. I'm gaining all of it back. It hasn't been worth it at all, okay? <laughs> Nothing good happens when you lose weight. I thought if I lost weight, women would just be lining up to date me, okay? Not the case. The only thing that happens when you lose weight, your in-shape friends are like, hey, man, want to go on a hike? No, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Hiking is the worst, okay? You gotta get up early, you finally get to the top, there isn't like a Del Taco or a muffin, nothing. All you have is a view, and your friends are like, are you having fun? No, I'm chafing, that's all that's going on. I wore gray cotton, no one warned me. Should've gone with a dry fit. I'm sweating for my two man boobs and my belly button, I look like a surprised emoji, you know? Like my body is shocked that I'm working out, it's making a surprise face for me, it's brutal. It's the worst. And when you, when you hike with in-shape people, this happens. Your in-shape friends get ahead of you, and they get a break. And then you catch up to them, and they're like, ready to keep going? No, I need a break. You guys go back down and come back. I hate this so much. I have to steal things out of their bags, so just they have to backtrack, you know what I mean? Like, I'll finally catch up to them, and I'll be like, hey, Dave, your EpiPen is like three miles back. You should probably go. No, I'll guard the trail mix. Leave it. Leave it with me. There's no M&Ms in the trail mix? Take it. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. I have to pretend I'm like super interested in nature when I hike so I can get the breaks. I'm always like, hey guys, what kind of tree is that? And my friends are like, it's the same tree that's literally all over the mountain. And I'm like, are you sure? Should we maybe sit down and have a Gatorade to make sure? Did anyone bring the tree book? Let's check. Let's check. We should definitely check. I don't know. Hiking's the worst. But I did have to lose weight, guys. I had a, an aha moment uh, last year when I went to get a physical. I went into the doctor's office, and I stepped on the scale at the doctor's office, and I maxed out the scale in that office. Medical grade scale. Maxed it out. Shocking. The nurse had never seen that before. She was trying to be nice to me, but she just made it worse. She was like, um, do you think it's because you left your cell phone in your pocket? I was like, I don't think that's it at all. Uh, I left quite a bit of cake in my stomach. That's probably more of the reason. Uh... She was so nervous. She's like, I don't, I've never seen this before. I don't know what to write on the form for the doctor. I was like, just be honest. Write whatever it says. And she's like, it says error. And I was like, yeah, don't write that. Don't write that. We don't want him seeing that. And then he, he, the doctor, he treated me with no respect. I thought he was messing with me. He just went through these list of questions that was so mean. 
You know, like the first question out of the gate, he was like, Scott, are you sexually active? And I was like, Doc, I'm not even regular active. You don't need to, we don't need to put this in categories, okay? Just active, no, just a big no under active. And then he's like, Scott, do you have trouble getting or maintaining an erection? And I was like, no. And he was like, really? And I was like, that's not a professional response. This is, this is a HIPAA violation. I have, I have good insurance. I have a PPO. I don't know what I have, but I want, I'm reporting you, sir. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know. Life's hard. It, it, here's the thing about weight loss and improving your body. It doesn't matter, okay? You got to love you for you. Am I right, Los Angeles? Oh, shut up. Stop. No. It, it's the worst. It doesn't matter. I could get jacked, and I'm still the hairiest person I've ever met in my life. I'm so hairy. I have to use head and shoulders on my head and shoulders. It's disgusting. I thought it was a product for me. No, I've been using it wrong the whole time. I'm a freak. Nothing's good. I have a, I have a roommate. He's the worst. Any, any, where are my roommate people at? Do we hate them? Do we hate our roommates, guys? Yeah, come on. He's like my best friend, but he's also my worst enemy, you know? It's very frustrating because, like, he loves giving me unsolicited financial advice, okay? He's in no position to do this. He's always like, hey, man, I think you should invest in crypto. Yeah, he's like, hey, man, I think you should buy Bitcoin. And I'm like, hey, man, I think you should turn the burner off when you're done using the stove. <laughs> Could we maybe start there? That would be nice. He's like, I just think you should put some of your money in the blockchain. And I'm like, I just think you should put any of your dishes in the dishwasher. Uh, very frustrating. Every time I get mad at him, I go on apartments.com and look up one-bedroom apartments in Los Angeles. <laughs> And then I see the price of one-bedroom apartments, and I literally start doing his laundry. I'm like, he's a good guy. I like knowing where he is at all times because he loves to stomp. It makes me know where he is. He's a good guy. I love him. He's such a bad roommate, I literally fantasize about moving back in with mom and dad. I do. But I can't because mom's tough, guys. I love her, but she just found Instagram. Uh, it's been very frustrating for me. Like, she does not know how to leave an appropriate comment. It's disgusting, you know? There'll just be a picture of me doing stand-up, and she decided to leave the comment, Hey, Scott, next time you come home to visit, what would you like to eat for dinner? I was like, Mom, that is not an appropriate comment. And obviously, chicken parmesan. I don't even know why you're asking. And don't you dare use that new air fryer that you love so much. Put it in the oil like you used to make it, you coward. <laughs> We're not turning over a new leaf. This isn't the time. This isn't the time. There was this other picture of me. Uh, I was, it was an old picture. I found out about it. I had untagged myself from it years ago. It was on Facebook. She found it, which means she went onto one of my friend's Facebooks. Doug found it, tagged me in it. It was... Terrible. It was a picture of me drunk outside of a bar in college, just like white as a ghost, blackout drunk. My friends are literally propping me up. I'm covered in like sweat and vomit. It's disgusting. And she decided to tag me and then leave the comment, handsome, just it. I was like, Mom, no one would describe this photo as handsome. In fact, the official description by the police was resisting arrest. So you need to, you need to figure yourself out. I don't know. I love mom and dad. I respect them so much. They raised one good kid and then one comic, and uh, they're very good at it. I respect it. I can't have kids. I know I don't want to have kids. I know that already because, uh, yeah, because I adopted a cat a year ago, and I fully regret that decision. Uh, you're in trouble, sir. You should. You, do you want? Do you, are you in the market for a six-year-old cat? What about a new one-year-old cat? You no. We'll talk after the show. I'll convince you he's a good guy. This bit won't help, but uh, he's tough. I just feel like my relationship with my cat is a lot like I'm pledging a fraternity and he's hazing me. You know what I mean? Just like every night when I go to sleep, right when I start to really fall asleep, he just starts screaming at my door like, Hey! Hey! 
Let me in! Hey! And uh, I wear a CPAP machine because I'm healthy. So I like, I wake up in a panic every night. I'm like, I throw the CPAP off. I get to the door. I open it. And he's just like, haha, you got any girls in here? No, nah, I'm just messing with you. He just turns around and leaves. Delta, gamma, sigma. He just walks away. He's the worst, you know? But then he really is like a frat bro because when it's just us alone, he bros out with me, man. You know, like, I'll just be watching TV and he'll just come up to me and he'll be like, bro, I just wanted to say, like, You've been, like, feeding me, like, pretty consistently. You're pretty good with the, the litter. You're, like, truly a brother. And I'd like to show you some payback and respect by climbing on your lap and slowly digging my paws into your penis. Would that be cool? And then, yes, I do have to stare you in the eyes. It's the rules. And I'm like, this is so weird. And then he keeps doing it. And I'm like, this feels kind of good. Delta Gamma Sigma. Uh... Let's get after it. Are you guys ready for your headliner and a hell of a show? Come on, give me some energy, give me some love. Colin, get up here, baby. Yeah. <laughs>